Jones, no! Oh, now you done uh, messed it up. Yeah, now you have messed up. Oh, the and then they disappeared. What's going on? It's your boy Sitting with the Intelli. You already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, Gabna. Hey, episode eight. Yo, can you believe we're eight in on Doctor Who? Woo! Yeah, boy, let me it's tell It's hard you. to believe, man. But I mean, but that's how it is, though. When you watch something good and something that moves you, man, it's, man, we can't crank out a, enough of these. That part. Listen, if this is your first time watching with us, don't worry. You can catch up with some of the previous episodes. There'll be a link in the description. And of course, stay to the very end because me and Rakai have a really good time just chopping it up, talking about the things we loved, things that might have been a little bit better, and the things that we can't wait for in the next episode. So, without any further ado, let's get started. The most wonderful man in the world, born the 15th September, 1954. That's a creepy little push in. Okay, let's see what's going on. Oh, What's her dad. Okay, never mind. That's interesting. He was always having adventures. I oh, would love to have seen you. Oh, we got a backstory episode happening. No, I can do anything. I'm mm. just more worried about you. I want to see him. Your wish is my command, but be careful what you wish for. That part. Mm hmm Because sometimes you find out that the what you've been told all your life is fiction. That part, man. You know, it's that he. This the. Uh, it's the um, concerns of hero worship, right? You know, you, what's that mm -hmm. old saying? Never meet your heroes. Take you, Jacqueline. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the wedding. Suzanne. Straight Suzette. Down. Anita. What the? Did he call her what Suzanne? Nineteen names. I'll just carry on. It's good enough for Lady Dive. What? I thought he'd be taller. To be my lawful wedded wife. <laughs> thought he'd be taller. He didn't even know her name. So weird. No, no, no. The day my mm -hmm. father died. What'd be all sort of grim and stormy. It's just an ordinary day. A past is another country. That's an interesting quote. This is it, George and Rose. 87, yeah. He was late. He'd been to get a wedding present, a vase. She gonna find out too that her mom been lying to her all these years. Mm. For some reason, her mom done made up this narrative. He can't die on his own. Can I try again? Oh, we better groundhog this bad boy. It's a very bad idea. Two sets of us being here at the same time. Just be careful they don't see us. Wait till she runs off and he follows. Then go to your dad. I was wondering if they were gonna ever deal with time paradox, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, now you done uh, messed it up. Yeah, now you have messed up oh, the Oh, and then they disappeared. I did it. I saved your life. Yeah, because they're in a different timeline now. Did you get his number? I really did it. Give me some credit. I didn't see it coming. I was going to walk under it, was I? I'm Rose. Don't tell him. Okay, you did it. You already messed up. Oh. It's all messed up now. You and your boyfriend need lift. He's so disappointed. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know, I'm waiting for the repercussions. Mm -hmm. You don't mess with the with the timeline. You don't mess with the timeline. Mm -hmm. oh. Hell, Loki getting ready to pop out on in a minute. <laughs> or Barry from The Flash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All the stuff Mum kept. His stuff. She kept it all packed away in boxes in the cupboard. She used to show me when she'd had a bit to drink. Look at him. Yeah, he's waiting for he's, the other shoe to drop. No, he's cross with her, you know. Health drinks. Yeah, tonics, I'm about to take you back to your time and stick you with old boy it's Adam from last, last episode. Right? <laughs> you are grounded. He's alive. My entire planet died. My whole family. Do you think it never occurred to me to go back and save them? But it's not like I've changed history. Oh, but you have. He's never going to be a world leader. He's not going to start World War Three or anything. Rose, there's a man alive in the world who wasn't alive before. Mm -hmm. The whole world's different because he's alive. What was your average death? Right. I'm not saying no, that. No, I get it. For once, you're not the most important man in my life. Let's see how you get on without me then. Give me the key. Mm, that part. I know how sad you are. You'll be back in a minute. Will you hang around outside the TARDIS waiting for me? And I'll make you wait a long time. Mm, pride. She's tripping, bro. Pride before the fall. 
Yes, before the fall. Oh, yeah. Now, what is this right here? Okay, well, they did that before, but I thought it was just a yeah. something else. I thought it was just a cool little segue, but this is actually a thing. What was that movie? Final Destination. Ah. Because remember when they didn't get on an airplane. Yeah, and, and death had to yeah, balance the scales. Because it said, yeah. where, where there's death, there's Dang. always death. Someone had to, someone had to die. Sorry. About it. Listen, don't worry about him. Couples have rows all the time. We're not a couple. Why does everyone think we're a couple? Y'all have that glow in each other's eyes. At no point are we going anywhere near there. You aren't even aware that there exists. I don't even want to think about there, and believe me, neither do you. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. What? There's so many people missing. Like with Stephen, Auntie Lynn, all the Baxters. I mean, where are they? Look, all them people that whatever killed was supposed to be there. You don't have to go through with it, not these days. Live in sin for a bit. Yo, that is definitely the late 80s when you had like the one single earring in your left ear. <laughs> oh, see, well, when let me take my little pointy moment back. Oh, yeah, you stuck. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Just a police box. Wow. Now that's an interesting turn. Yeah, they didn't mess something up real tough. I wish I do a bit of this, a bit of that, a spray fly. Right. Hey, you hear the song? Hey, we're getting Rick Road right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see what y'all did there. And what's crazy is I don't even think getting Rick Road was a thing back in 2005. Is, is Rick Ashley, is he British? I always assumed he was. Maybe not. I, I, know, I thought he was Canadian, actually. But... This stuff goes right over my head. That's okay. Yeah. Good job at all. Check my messages. How do you mean messages? Oh, he's probably looking like, what is that? Yeah, there ain't no cell phones in 1987. Watson, come here. I need you. Watson, come here. Watson, come here. We need you. Hmm? He said, Watson, come here. We need you. Oh, that's the dude? Yeah. Oh! Oh, this is okay. We're doing some interesting things. No, in this case, See, that's a cell phone in 1987. <laughs> yeah. And that cell phone cost ten thousand dollars. <laughs> it did back then. That's why only doctors, lawyers, or drug dealers had them. Did she just call the dad? She said a useless arse. Yeah. And then he pulls up with this 19-year-old girl, like. Uh-oh. Did she just call him dad out loud? Yep. She did. Here he is, the accident waiting to happen. You'd be late for your own funeral, and it nearly was. No damage done. And who's this? That part. Right. I mean, it's lovely. Your hair's lovely. <laughs> Make the baby like, is that me? Uh-huh. That would be your baby. Another one of yours, is she? <laughs> she saved my life. Oh, that's a new one. Another one of yours. Oh, see? Finding out stuff about your pops. You're not like this. You love each other. Oh, Pete, you never used to like the mental. <laughs> Dang. Wait, just listen. There'll be a wedding and a divorce on the same day. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Give us a couple of minutes with a minute. You stepped into you what? Straight in the car, right? Just... There's that vase again. So monster sweet. Is he the Look, she know. Get in the church. Oh, is that like a time goblin? Oh. Mm -hmm. Get in the church. Oh my God. Oh my. All right. See that one had the had the the sickle. Uh, oh, like death. Hey, oh. that's how they take you out. Mm. Not on her special day. Oh, damn, oh. the acolyte can get it too? Yeah, that's because he was, he probably trying to holler at girls in the choir, or trying, <laughs> choir boys. It's been an accident in time, a wound in time. They're like bacteria taking advantage. What do you mean time? What are you jabbering on about time? Oh, I might have known you'd argue. Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't mind, I've waited a long time to say this. Jackie Tyler, do as I say. Go and check the doors. That's yes, right. <laughs> 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 See? He said with his chest. 
I don't <laughs> think the telephone's going to be much use. But someone must have called the police. The police can't help you now. No one can. Nothing in this universe can harm those things. Oh, uh, kind of because of Rose. I know. I've been like Rose. <laughs> is this because? Yes. That answer is yes. Uh, yes. Is this my fault? Yes. Girl, you know it is. I only got an answer. I don't have to dignify that with an answer. Mm, mm, mm. You are. You are. That's Jackie walking in. I think. Oh. Excuse me. One of those. Doctor. You seem to know what's going on. I give that impression, yeah. <laughs> Who are you two then? Stuart Hoskins. Sarah Clark. And one extra? Boy or girl? I don't know. I don't want to know, really. Shotgun with it. Well, I mean, how did you get here? Do you really want to know? Yeah. A time machine. It might as well spill your guts to him, because at some point he got to get in front of this car. Yup. Did you know these, these things were coming? No. God, I don't know. My head's spinning. <laughs> might as well go ahead and tell him. It's not so different. What am I like? Have I gone grey? <laughs> Ooh, that part. You, you can go back today. So, uh, if, if this mate of yours you know, is in your boyfriend, yeah, you know, no. I have to yeah. say I'm glad, because being your dad and all, I think is a bit old for you. <laughs> have you got a bloke? No, I did have this. What? What happened to Mickey? Do you know him? That's Mickey. That's Mickey, isn't it? Poor thing, He just grabs hold of what's passing and holds on for dear life. God help his poor girlfriend if he ever gets one. Yeah, me and Rose were just talking. Oh, Lord. While the world comes to an end, what do you do? That's Cling crazy. to the youngest blonde. Come on, Mick. Yep, it was! It's Mickey. I didn't know Mickey was older than him. Older than her. Jackie doesn't know how to work the timer on the video recorder. I showed her that last week. Point taken. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Mickey might be a child of destiny with Rose. I think I just imprinted myself on Mickey like a mother chicken. Mm. No. Mm. Don't touch the baby. Mm -mm. Mm. You can't. You're both the same person. That's, that's a paradox, a, and we don't want a paradox happening. Yeah, that's uh, that's that's time cop one on one with John Clark. <laughs> paradox might let them in. <laughs> Can't do anything right, can I? Yep, the same matter can't occupy the same space. I'm not stupid. You could have fooled me. They do, mm. they do argue like an old married couple. They do. I wasn't yes. really going to leave yes, you on your own. I know. Between you and me, I haven't got a plan. Mm. Well, that's an honest moment. We might hold out for a while, but nothing can stop those creatures. They'll get through in the end. The walls aren't that old. And there's nothing I can do to stop them. Which is saying a lot, because that's England, and over there, everything is old, as compared to the States. <laughs> Just... Tell me you're sorry. What? Apologize? Have you got something home? <laughs> it's the TARDIS key. It's telling me it's still connected to the TARDIS. The inside of my ship was thrown out of the wound, but we can use this to bring it back. And once I've got my shit back, then I can mend everything. <laughs> Everybody out there like, huh? This one big enough. And that cell phone. Fantastic. Good old dad. There you go. Man, battery is one of those funny words when British said always battery. makes me smile. Battery. And what you got a battery. Because <laughs> like, even if he walked outside right now to get hit by the car, it's still, still messed up. Well, yeah, they got to go back and stop the second version of them from interrupting. So in, in the future, uh, me and her indoors still together. Yeah. So you still living with us? Yep. Mm. Am I a good dad? There's the question. You told me a bedtime story every night when I was small. You were always mm -hmm. there. You never missed one. It's just pouring on the lies. You took us for picnics in the country every Saturday. She gonna say something that he knows is a lie. Like, you were there for us minutes. all the time. Someone I could really rely on. He's like, that don't sound like me at all. <laughs> That's not me. Yep. He's like, I know me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. The Tartarus is reborn in a holy place. Just leave it be and everything will be fine. We'll get out of here, all of us. Stuart, Sarah, you're going to get married, just like I said. Valentine's going to bust in the door soon now. When time gets sorted out. Everybody here forgets what happened. Mm. That's why I haven't done anything with my life. Why I didn't mean anything. It doesn't work like that. Rubbish. It was so useless I couldn't even die properly. Damn. Now it's my fault all this has happened. This is my fault. No, love. I'm your dad. It's my job for it to be my fault. I hear my that. Dad. Mm -hmm. I hear that. I felt that. How old were you? 12? Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> Jax. He's just like, Rose. Rose? How sick is that? Listen, look at her. How many are there? You call them all Rose. Oh, for God's sake, look, it's the same Rose. Don't, don't touch the baby! <laughs> oh. Don't nobody listen. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's what it do. Why Rose so damn stupid? He told her. <laughs> God, no. She's like, I'm not stupid. He's like, you could fool me. And then here we are. He's not old enough, right, boy. Oh. Dang. Oh, it really did snatch him up, though. Well, wait a minute, though. He might be so old that it gives him a bellyache. Yeah, you got me. I don't know where we going from here. <laughs> oh. Cold. Yeah, I'm I'm completely stumped. Like I didn't see any of that. Like I for you. Holy shit. The whole yeah, She's the new one that has death falling, huh? Dang, look how everything uh, turned gray. Oh, uh, bread. Oh, this is like the this Thanos is snap episode. There's nothing we can do. It's the end. Like you're going to bust through a window like a Schwarzenegger movie. He knows what he has to do. He's going to see the car. Yep, you know what you got to do. You know what to do! You know what you got to do, man. You got to be the good papa. He didn't want you to go through it again. Not if there was another way. No, there isn't. Look, she knows. What are you talking about? The car that should have killed me, love. See ya. It's got to do what it's supposed to do. Yeah. Still, he's not in charge anymore. I am. I hear that. But you can't. Who am I, love? My daddy. It's my job to protect you. That part. She's ours. Oh, God. Don't say that. But once in your life, trust me, it's got to be done. You gotta survive, cause you gotta bring up our daughter. They probably ain't had no real passion between them since probably when they first got married. Yeah. I never read your bedtime stories. I never took you on those picnics. I was never there for you. But I am today. <laughs> but I can do this for you. Yeah. I said so you didn't got me eaten <laughs> by this gargoyle <laughs> wildebeest bat. <laughs> So yeah, let me go and drop you off. You and Ricky have a good life. I'm sick of your ass. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Dang. Go to it. Quick. Oh, so he is, she is going to be able to say goodbye. This is a damn good episode. This is a really good one. Oh, and the old dude, because of the way, way he hit him, he's not a uh, hit and run driver. Because mm. remember, Jackie said she didn't even know who hit him. Yeah, that's true. Stopped. He waited for the police. It wasn't his fault. For some reason, Pete just ran out. Mm. Story changed. And she sat with Pete while he was dying. She held his hand. Oh, that's right, because they forget everything. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you want to watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Become a member of this channel. 
you'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription, so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. I really liked that episode. I'm, I, I think I think it might be my, my favorite episode so far because they did a really good job of, uh, of blending the sci-fi with the feels. Uh, mm -hmm. Then I also have to admit, I, I am a sucker for father stories. That, that that's always just gets me. Um, so I can, you know, it's, it's one of those things where I can, I, you you put yourself into the characters. Uh, and mm -hmm. I, I liked I liked Pete's Pete's arc, his redemption. You know, he started off as a bit of a klutzy father who's just all over the place, just trying to figure it out, and he ends up being the hero and making the big sacrifice in order to save his family. Bravo. Bravo, how you feeling so far? I actually like that episode too. I, I do like when they try to get you in the feels. Um, but I, I think what's cool about that episode is that the things that we learned about Pete, they left it open to interpretation. Because just because Jackie was accusing him a lot of stuff, what well, we've seen Jackie, we know that she just fly off the handle and <laughs> half the time she ain't right about nothing. So, you know, it may have been completely innocent. It's not like he was purposely cheating on her and all this stuff, you know, and from his own admission, you know, he was a dreamer and he wanted to do a lot. He just never got the chance to uh, to fulfill that dream. And, you know, it's that's a hard, hard pill to swallow, especially when he knew time was up. You know, every day that we we lay down and go sleep, you know that you are not promised tomorrow. You may not wake up. And it's our job to do as much as we can to fulfill whatever the promise we have to ourselves, to our spouse, to our children, whatever, um, to be the best person that you can be and do the most that you have, the most that you can with the time that you have. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's, it's a hard, that's a hard thing to, to feel the notion of my time is up right now, you know, mm. but this is all I can do to be good to you. This is this is it. Like, man, yeah, yeah. This this was a good episode. I liked uh, the line that sticks with me the most is when he says, "It's my job for it to be my fault." I felt that to yeah. my to my spirit to my core. Mm -hmm. I was like, yes, I that is. I, th I personally think that that is, you know, the, the, the burden, responsibility, and the love of what it means to be a parent, a father. You know, it is mm -hmm. my job for it to be my fault. So, you know, let me handle this. Let me, let, let me do this thing that I'm supposed to do. You know, I'm supposed to protect you. And you said something, too, that I think is really good and resonates, too, is that when you think about that time when it's like, okay, my time is up. And from the director's standpoint, like they spent a good moment of letting that actor who played, you know, a Rose's dad of just letting that moment just breathe. He had, he sat, he, he sat on that for a moment and just thought. And I, I, I like that they gave him that time. Cause you could see him like going through the motions. It's like, damn, is, is really, is today's the day, huh? <laughs> like, uh, oh, I really got to do this. Uh, no, I, I need, yeah, I need to, you know, how's this going to go? Is it going to hurt? Am I going to like, is it going to fix it? Like, is this the thing? Like you, you see all of that, you know, and it, that you, and a lot of times, especially with a show like this, where the pacing is like this, because it moves, you mm -hmm. know, the story moves. It took a time to like hit the brakes and let, and let that moment kind of like sink in. I, I, I thought that was dope. You know, not only in him and it letting it breathe for him making the decision, they let it breathe after he got hit. So Rose had enough time to run to him and console him and stay with him because, uh, you know, and I know for you too, but you know what I'm saying? Being that my kids are young, his child, you know, Rose was still a baby. The fact that he got to see her grown, cause that's right now, if I were to not wake up tomorrow, you know, and I don't know if, you know, wherever if I wake up in purgatory, if I wake up, you know, upstairs, downstairs, whatever, you know, the thing that you have to be, and I don't even know if, you know, regret is the right word, but it'd be like, I didn't get to see my kids grow up. Mm. I didn't get to have that input in their life. I didn't get to be a grandparent or great grandparent or I didn't, 
do everything that I could to make sure that they are straight, even prepare them for when I'm not here, because that's a whole nother thing. Yeah. You know, it's enough to prepare them for life itself, yeah. but it's a whole different thing to prepare them for life after you. Cause if you have a good parent, a parent is also kind of a crutch in a lot of instances. Mm. Um, mm. And, you know, I'm at the advanced, but yet still beautiful age that I am. And I can't, I can't imagine my mother not being here right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I just, mm. you know, and she's of an advanced uh, antique age herself. Mm. And, it could go down at any time, but mentally, that would devastate me right now if something were to happen to her. And mm -hmm. you know, and the thing is, I should be prepared for that. Mm -hmm. My kids should be prepared for that, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't think I've ever even thought about that until right now. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. if I'm not prepared for her to go where she's at, you know, I would. It would be a, a disservice to me because I would be absent from raising my kids because mourning my mother. Mm. I, I, you know, I don't even know how they would feel, but I would need to be there for them, be strong for them to help them through this, even though I am dying inside. Mm. And the thing is, I should be more prepared for this because it's an inevitability. You can't beat, you know, father time. No, you know? it stays. And when your time is up, it's up and you ain't got nothing to do with that right big facts big facts man see this is this is this to me is a testament of a good episode because it may when you can apply it to things that that affect and move you in your own personal space and, and it creates that conversation then you watch something worthwhile um that's that's mm -hmm. how this episode is kind of making me feel but with with you you know giving us a piece of of, of your life and thank you for that um, but that, but that just shows, you know, the, the, the testament of why I think personally so far, I mean, we're only eight episodes in, but so far this episode has probably moved me the most because this, this mm -hmm. series has such a high level of silliness and zaniness and, you know, stuff is really cheeky and stuff, but this, this wasn't that, you know, it was, it was more mm -hmm. of a moment of, of a, of a human moment. Um, there was something that I thought that was kind of pivotal and I was wondering where it was going to fit in and, and maybe just me forcing the narrative, but they kept showing this vase over and over and over and over again mm -hmm. and the breaking of the vase. And there is this illusion that if you fix the vase, right, that everything is going to be mm -hmm. okay. But when the vase, when the vase was fixed, everything wasn't okay. Like she tried to fix the fact that her father had died, but it ended up throwing everything into flux. That vase needed to be broken. Some things in life need to be broken. It's not always a bad thing. It's just a thing. It's just a thing that happens in life. And you have to know how to like live and keep moving, recognize that the vase is broken and you know, and, and kind of like, you know, live, live your life. So uh, like I said, you all let me know in the chat what you all feel regarding uh, the vase, but it's pivotal. You know, that's one of those things that like when you're setting up these scenes and and the director and the and the uh, AD and the set designer and all that, they purposely went out of their way to put that in there. So it has a meaning. So I'm curious as to what you all think that meaning is. There's also something else that you brought up uh, in the beginning regarding Rose's mistakes. And as we're going off having this zany time with Rose and the doctor, we sometimes can forget that Rose is a inexperienced young woman. She's a, she's technically a teenager. She's 19. She's technically a teenager, mm -hmm. you know, a, a, a kid. And one thing you're going to do as a kid is make mistakes. It's just an inevitability. It's how, it's how you get better. And we, we just sit here and we watch Rose make these mistakes. You know, we've seen the doctor make mistakes. Somebody that is, who knows? I think he said he was 900 plus years old and he still makes mistakes. But to see the mistakes through 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 youth and love you know these mistakes was done as a as a in, in a space of love because she wanted to help her father you know it, it good intentions that had bad outcomes you know I, I i like that that we get to see hopefully you know gives us more space to see uh, rose's arc grow and mature as she becomes you know uh, a smarter more mature woman yeah it's it's interesting to see how many of us would have made a different choice so, you know like even rose you know if you were put in that exact same position maybe a different person maybe your father doesn't mean anything to you i mean it meant something to her 
only because it's like a man that really she had never met mm -hmm. but due to all the what the stories that her mom told her even though when you see when you go back and look in on her now now it's romanticized mm -hmm. her mother presented the best version of her father to her that she could and mm -hmm. you like you saw their wedding that wasn't even good. He <laughs> said 75 names like, bruh. <laughs> like, man. Like, nah. <laughs> Yo. But at least Jackie did that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even though all that was a lie, you know what I'm saying? She presented, you know, because she presented her with the best version. How many of us would make a different choice if presented with that choice? Yeah. And that's the one thing about faith that I, I say all the time. You never know if you have it until you need it. Mm. You know, a lot of people say they got this, they got that, um, but you never know until the, the stuff hits the fan if you really have it or not. Um, you know, I was thinking about something that you said, and I was thinking um, about that vase. You're right, the, the showrunners, they don't do anything, just happenstance. So I was like, what could that vase possibly even represent? You know what I'm saying? The thing is like, like when she saved his life and she dropped the and he dropped the vase, the vase didn't break on the pavement. It rolled around, but it didn't break. And he said, you know, sometimes it's necessary for stuff to break for it to be the way that it's supposed to be. You know, so the, for the timeline, that's a canon event. Mm. He was supposed to die. Yeah. And the 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 vase, you know, was supposed to break. But you know, the the Japanese have an art of where, you know, you take a vase and break it apart mm. and they put it back together, but they I don't I don't want to say heal it, but they put it back together with slivers of gold. Um because it, that's the thing, like once something is damaged, it can heal, it can repair, but it'll never be the same again. If you had a brand new fence. And you told a gang of kids just come and throw rocks at it. You know, the rocks going to tear that fence up. So even if you put a new coat of paint on it or whatever, it's not going to be brand new like it was when you first put it up. Mm. It's still damaged underneath whatever veneer you put over top of it. Mm. Mm. And sometimes our lives are like that. But as we're putting ourselves back together, as we're healing, like hopefully what this is for Rose, as she's healing through this whole experience, Hopefully she can do it with the gold and add value that this experience has added value to her life. And she truly, you know, listen, I can I can go on a long rant about how many lessons I got at 19 <laughs> that I should have learned. And here I am now just like, oh, it just now. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and my mom was just there shaking her head. Like, Boy. Mm. Yes. Yeah, all of that part, man. Yes. Um, hey, I'm curious as to what you all think in the chat uh, regarding like your takes, because there's a lot to this. Like there's a few other things that we can go on. We can talk about, you know, the importance of, of destiny uh, regarding uh, being reintroduced to, to Mickey. We could talk about, you know, you saying you never know what you really need. You never need religion until everything is like on the line and then falling back to the church. That's a whole conversation. You know, there's a there's there's a mm -hmm. lot of other things that we could kind of go on, and I want you all to kind of like take the lead and, and talk about that in the chat because you know we've been kind of like going going at length at this, but it's just once again it's a testament to to how good the art is that we, that we're watching. And anytime it evokes mm -hmm. an emotion or evokes a thought, then, you, then you're looking at something good. Uh, if you want to uh, enjoy uh, some more about this particular channel, be a friend of the channel, please make sure you hit that subscription button and of course. Uh, give us that thumbs up. Now, my man, Rakai. Yo, my man with the, with the great conversation pieces. Hey, check him out. Rakai, tell the people how they get in contact with you. On all social media, at Diamond Mind, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-M-Y-N-D, because it's all about this right here. Hey, thank you so much for all the comments. Make no mistake, we do read all of them. We may not be able to respond to all of them, but we do read all of them. We are super grateful. Let us know uh, what we got right what we got wrong and the fun one is always uh what did we miss and please 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 keep it in the context of what we've already seen no spoilers because we we're having such a please. good job enjoying this and some of the people that are watching this with us for the first time as well we don't want to spoil it for them mm -hmm. thank you and we'll catch you all on the next episode all right y'all peace